This summer solstice brings the launch of Synchronicity University. So excited about finally presenting you guys with a free online, fully accessible data bank of astrology classes. You can watch lessons right now at synchronicityuniversity.com and of course my YouTube channel, nadiashaw.com. Hello fabulous Sagittarius, welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2015 general focus. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. This month begins with Venus meeting your ruling planet Jupiter in the sky and you start off this month with a real sense of growth and purpose and meaning and positivity. At the same time, we've got these moments of real positive energy taking place for you. We've also got a very strong financial focus that begins for you right out of the gate and doesn't let up until very late in the month. It starts with you paying attention to matters of money that you're earning and money that you are spending. And it does look like, you know, I'm always going to be honest with you, right? Always. This particular new moon for students of astrology out there, this particular new moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune and then going on to meet Pluto in the sky. So this does suggest to me that an almost like amazing, almost miraculous, ideal, uh, inspired kind of news finding you and it is followed by a, a sort of a real reality check taking place. And so when I see something just so amazing, so inspired taking place, when we see this type of conversation, you know, I like to take a little bit of a step back. <laughs> I like to say, okay, what else is going on here? What's really going on here underneath the surface? Um, and the surface, what's happening is gonna reveal itself to you very quickly. So if uh, there is a financial opportunity that comes up, I think that there's going to be an expectation of what it is that turns out to be really different than the reality. It uh, may also be that you have an inspired idea only to realize that actually materializing it or manifesting it or how you're actually going to make that come about involves a process that you really don't want to uh, participate in too much. Also with this, because this also has to do with, again, I'm always going to be honest with you, um, because this has to do with expenses as well, I do think, I was looking at this and I was thinking, you know, it's almost as if you get some really good news, which might be like a really great a raise or great financial news about money coming in, and then you're hit with an expense. And ultimately, should that be the case, which should only be a case for a few of you, but it should that be the case, this is ultimately the universe trying to get you to pay attention to what you believe about how much money you can handle, how much money you deserve. So ultimately, if you should find a situation like that taking place, it's the universe sort of asking you to get clear and grounded in a sense of what prosperity means to you and how it is that you're going to manifest that. And this is actually part of a more meaningful exploration that is going to take place thanks to Venus. Venus retrograde uh, that is going to begin at the late part of this month. It's going to happen in a part of the sky for you that um, astrologers would call your home in the sky, if you will. So it is your house in the sky in which Venus will begin to go backwards. And this suggests to me a really uh, clearer pathway understanding as to what your self value is and as to your ability to receive whatever it is that you believe is most important to you. So some key aspect of the things that matter most to you in life, the areas in which you feel most comfortable are gonna be asking you to pave the way for greater prosperity. So how are you going to do that? Events in the early part of the month are going to allow you, are going to hold up a mirror to you to allow you to see what you actually believe in, where your work is as part of creating a more ideal picture for yourself. Also, I do want to say as I look at this, I mean, this could really just come down to you saying to yourself, wow, I'd really love to do this. And, and thinking that you can, and absolutely you can, 
but then uh, coming to a realization or feeling that, no, I, I can't do that, I can only do this, and sort of limiting yourself or thinking you can only do what you've always done, and being very made aware of how you're putting a limitation on yourself. So lots of opportunity there in the beginning of the month to really connect to a deeper sense of self-value as part of a larger lesson that's going to play out over the course of the summer. As we move towards the middle of the month, we have a new moon happening in a part of the sky that has to do with what we call other people's money. Grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns, benefits, um, and commissions, that type of money that comes in a chunk at a time. And it looks like one of these sources of funding is going to be asking for your uh, very quick considerations and attentions. Um, it looks like you in some way are having to, whether it's fill out a lot of paperwork or really scrambling to make a source of income happen for yourself. So this is a new moon, which represents a new opportunity. So either you're going to find out about a new source of funding that you could access, and it ends up leading to this whole process of application and, and competition and trying to go out for it, which very well may happen. But you may deem that it's actually worth it to you. This can also be, even though it is a new moon, it can be sort of a, if you applied for an appeal or an application around benefits that you were hoping to get, this can also be sort of the next step. But again, it seems like there's a lot of hustle and bustle around this particular new moon. So there's lots of paperwork and stuff that you're going to have to fill out. But here's the thing, as I see such a strong financial focus for so much of the month, it tells me that the money is there. The money you need is there. It may not be A to B. Um, and it might even be that you feel a little bit like you're being led in circles. But for all that, you are okay. When the planets are speaking so strongly to finances, it suggests to me that the money is there. So it's just about you showing up, doing what's in front of you to do, and it's better for you to do it in a detached kind of way. It'll allow you to take much more advantage of the real opportunity that is there to create greater prosperity for yourself. As we finish off the month, your focus will change. There's a second full moon taking place in a downright talkative part of your sky. So it looks like you're having lots of conversations, running into lots of different types of people and looking at all kinds of different ways to see the same situation. And this should really help broaden your perspective as you come to understand all the different ways that language can help you to move towards those goals that matter to you so much. What I love about this month for you is that focus on self-value as part of this larger lesson of learning to receive all the good things that the universe has to offer and especially where it comes to the things that make you happiest. You deserve to attract them into your life and the universe is going to show you how.